Good day, guys. Um, today we'll be talking about the principal diameters of the um, bony pelvis. Okay, principal diameters of the bony pelvis. I get to see that the bony pelvis is measured anterior posteriorly. Okay, it is measured in the center. That's from one brain to one brain, and is measured from the oblique. Okay, that's um iliopubic eminence to the sacroiliac joint on the opposite side okay then um this anterior posteriorly is from the words lumbosacral junction uh limbosacral joints okay to the um pubic symphysis okay so going by this we'll be talking about this diameters of the bony pelvis and that's basically what we'll be talking about today the bony pelvis has three principal diameters and this diameter is uh, we have the anterior posterior or uh, anterior posterior or conjugate, which is the distance from the lumbosacral angle to the um, um, symphysis pubis, pubic symphysis. Okay, so from the lumbosacral, what is lumbosacral logically? That's where the lumbar vertebrae, the last one, is joining with the sacrum, the first sacral vertebrae okay so lumbosacral joint to the pubic symphysis joint okay then how about the transverse diameter the transverse diameter uh, is a diameter which extends from the middle of the brain on one side to the same point on the opposite side okay so middle of the brain on one side to the same side on the opposite brain Okay, then talking about the last diameter, which is the oblique diameter, the diameter which extends from the iliopubic eminence to the opposite sacroiliac joint. Okay, so let me illustrate here. So if this is the iliopubic eminence, okay, where is the sacroiliac joint on the opposite side? This one. Okay, then you join it like this. All right, if you are measuring from the opposite side, this is the iliopubic eminence, but this is the sacroiliac joint on the opposite side, okay? Then you join it like this, okay? So basically, guys, these are the three principal diameters of the bony pelvis. Anterior posterior, transverse diameter, and oblique diameter, okay? So see you guys in the next tutorial. And we are almost done with the bony pelvis anatomy.